Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to repair the floor of your vehicle using a box of Kraft Dinner. Uh, man, if anybody's got some better tools on how to make these cuts, put a comment in the video below, man. This takes forever. So now that we've removed the interior and cleaned up the loose rust to see what we're actually dealing with, it's time to start cutting and patching the new metal in place. Here's some of the tools we'll use. Now, choose your own substitutions as your favorite tools are and go for it. Hold on, hold on, I said craft dinner. So take your box, dump out the box, make sure you mix the water in, probably microwave it, put some butter in it, add the cheese, stir it up, Eat it, should you so choose, but really, all we need is the box. I'm going to start with some of the simpler spots, and that's going to be this one here, which is just going to be a flat square, and this one here, which is going to be a slightly curved, not quite square. So what we want to start with is use our most important tool to mark out the straight edges of where we're going to be cutting. So across the top here, down the side here, and I'm going to stop just in from this edge radius here. The metal out here is not perfect, but it's definitely good enough to, to keep. And it doesn't come all the way up to the edge. This is going to allow me to get better access to make sure the back is properly welded. So I'm going to come down the edge here. I'll probably keep that corner. And then I'm going to come in on an angle here because there's a little change in shape here. And if I can avoid that little cup there, come across here. It's going to make the whole process easier. So down the side like this, I'm going to go across here. Whoops, that that that's not what you want to do. Use the wrong edge. You got you got to get the right the right box across there. I'm going to go right across that front edge, and that I'm just going to freehand this because really it doesn't matter. We're going to come down here and all the way across there. Now, the reason it doesn't matter the size and shape that I draw this is because I'm making a template to go in here after, and I'm going to be fitting a piece of cardboard to the same size and shape, and I can make as many cardboard templates as I want. The one thing that is in here that's going to make a difference that I can see there's at least one, there may be two, is right around here, I have a spot weld that I have to remove. Other than that, this should be a pretty straightforward shape to remove. Same as up here on this one, we're going to come across here, in here. Now this could give me a little bit of an issue in the corner here. Back here, and back to there. Those are the rough shapes. Now you'll notice that there's a couple pinholes here and a couple pinholes here. Those I will most likely not be cutting out. I'm just going to fill them with weld with a little backer on the back and then I'll buff them down again. So I'm just going to kind of highlight those areas so that I don't forget them. And then we're going to start cutting. The real reason for the craft dinner is using the nice thin box board to make your templates. And as you can see, we can lay this over the hole and get everything lined up to trace where I made the cut and then this will become the template that we use to cut the piece of metal. So the way we're going to do this, again, I'm going to set this over the hole, line up this edge and line up this edge. And what I find works well is the back end of a reasonably hard screwdriver. Make sure we've got the curve matching here and I'm just going to rub all around that cut edge and this is just going to make an imprint on the back of the, the box board. So when we take it out, we have a line and a line. Now I'm going to cut this with the scissors. Again, this doesn't need to be completely perfect because we're going to be recutting this out of metal so we can have a little bit of a plus or a minus on here. 
What we want to end up with is a little bit, I like to end up with a little bit of a gap all the way around because things are going to shrink when we start welding and I would rather have a full um, open gap all the way around so that I know when I'm putting the weld in there I'm getting a hundred percent penetration to the back side meaning I don't have to do a weld on the other side so this I would say we are just about right at the amount that would fill it perfectly so I'm gonna take just a little bit more off just to give us that bit of clearance but you can see when it just stays in there that is a pretty close match to the piece of metal that we're gonna need that looks a lot better already there you go finished just paint it next we're gonna transfer the cardboard cutout shape onto a piece of sheet metal now this is 16 gauge but that's not super important take a small screwdriver or a scribe go around the edge of your part and then use your favorite cutting tool to cut that shape out and as you can see I've done some shaping to this metal on the anvil you don't need to have an anvil to do this as long as you have a hammer and something hard you can make the shape you want so I've got a bit of a curve going this way here and then a bit of a curve coming back here just keep giving it a couple taps test fitting it until you get the fit that you're happy with now after a couple of trips back and forth to the anvil or your preferred hitting tool of choice you should be getting pretty close to a good fit I like to stick a little magnet in behind part of the hole so the piece can't fall through and then we can kind of slide it into place and I think that's pretty good I'm happy with that we'll move on to the next stage well there you have it we've gone from two rusty holes to two pieces of cardboard craft dinner box template and through the magic of well compressed air now we have two pieces of metal ready to get welded in but that's as far as i'm going to take it for this video so stick around tune in next time and i will go through welding these in place thank you for watching bye